from Paul, VK3HN, I got an email about materials used for antenna masts and potentially other things used around antennas like centerpieces, insulators, spacers or whatever. Material characteristics vary. Something like fiberglass is good to use around antennas since it's inert as far as RF is concerned. Whereas something like carbon fibre is conductive and could affect the characteristics of the antenna, trap or tuned circuit. How do you know which is which? Here's what I suggest you should do. Get a free running RF oscillator with a large open coil. Put the material that you want to test near that coil and monitor its output frequency. If the frequency varies, then it means that what you're putting near it has some effect on RF. If the frequency stays the same, then you're safe and can use that material. Here's what I'm going to use for the test. It's actually a crystal set with an oscillating Q multiplier, though you can use a regen receiver. The main thing about it is it's got a large open coil, not a toid. That makes it easier for you to bring materials near it and test the RF characteristics. The set is quite sensitive and I don't need an external antenna to get a good beat note from a local broadcast station. Listen to the beat note and note what happens when I put various materials near its coil. There's some effect, but you can actually touch the coil and it's very little. Except at this end where it's a bit more. Here's a bit of aluminium. and the detuning effect is huge. It goes right off frequency. My hand also has a big detuning effect, though not as much as the aluminium. For this test, the dowling is pretty benign, so I can tape it to other things and use that to test them. A metal bolt or nut, quite a big effect, but not as much as the aluminium. Chopping board material, the end of a 9 meter skrid pole. This particular one came from Haverford. I've left a bit of wire on the end because I use that to support antennas or whatever. There is significant effect but if I move the wire away So it's just the barrel of the pole. There's a small effect, probably about comparable to the dowling, but it's pretty good. Whereas the aluminium, which we'll try again, massive effect. Here's another skrid pole, this time about five and a half metres. This is the one which I use for my pedestrian mobile. Admittedly, it's only a very thin section touching the coil. Pretty much no effect. A little bit thicker, a bit more effect. Next thing is some black pipe. some effect. Nowhere near as much as metal. Just to summarise, most materials have a small detuning effect but they should be okay to use as antenna masts. Unfortunately, I don't have anything here known to be made of carbon fibre to do a full comparison. Thanks to Paul, VK3HN, for the idea to do this test.
you don't need sophisticated test equipment to get an indication as to the RF properties of materials.